In the chaos of modern warfare, a shocking twist has emerged from the Ukrainian front lines. A humble, modified drone, costing no more than $500, is rewriting the rules of combat. While tanks once ruled the battlefield with iron fists and multi-million dollar firepower, today they tremble at the sound of a buzzing rotor. Ukraine, under siege and outgunned, has turned to ingenuity. Civilian-grade drones like DJI quadcopters or 3D-printed models have been rigged with grenades, anti-tank warheads, and improvised explosives. These flying machines, once meant for aerial photography, now hunt steel monsters worth millions. And the results? Devastating. Tank crews wake up in fear. Armored columns hesitate to advance. Russian commanders find their most expensive war machines reduced to burning husks by tools bought online or built in a garage. But here's the question that keeps echoing across command bunkers and military academies. How can a $500 drone outwit and destroy a heavily armored tank engineered to survive battlefield hell? Is it poor Russian strategy? Outdated defense systems? Or is this the beginning of a warfare revolution, where intelligence, creativity, and cost efficiency beat brute force? Let's take a step back. Russian tanks like the T-90 and T-80 are designed to resist anti-tank missiles, RPGs, and airstrikes. They're equipped with thick reactive armor, sensor suites, and machine guns. Some models even have electronic countermeasures. But none of that matters if the threat slips through unseen. Drones fly low, fast, and silent, dodging radars and weaving between buildings and trees. They're operated remotely by skilled Ukrainian pilots who know exactly where the tank's soft spots lie. One well-placed drop, and the explosion speaks louder than any military doctrine. The evidence is everywhere. In footage released by Ukraine's drone units, we see T-72s cooking off, flames bursting from their turrets. In one clip, a $500 FPV drone zips toward a stationary Russian tank, dives between its turret and engine deck, and detonates. Seconds later, smoke engulfs the vehicle. These aren't one-off miracles. They're happening every week, sometimes daily. Ukraine's drone brigades, like the famous Aerosvidka, have turned open fields into drone killing grounds. Even heavily armored Terminator support vehicles, built for urban combat, have been caught off guard. Worse for Russia, tanks left behind due to mechanical failure or lack of fuel are being systematically picked off. No safe zones, no hiding. Even mobile air defense systems meant to shoot drones down are being destroyed by drones. This isn't just a tactic, it's a total doctrinal shift. Traditional warfare relies on expensive systems, long logistics chains, and top-down control. But Ukraine has flipped the script. They operate with decentralized, flexible drone teams. Soldiers on the ground make decisions in real time. No long waits. No permission delays. For the first time in modern history, a country under siege has used budget drones to turn the tide against a superior armored force. And it's spreading. Other nations are taking notes. Drone warfare schools are popping up. Crowdfunded drone units are testing new payloads. And military planners from Taiwan to Poland are rewriting defense playbooks. Because now, tanks aren't just vulnerable, they're becoming liabilities. So what does the future look like? Will drones completely replace tanks on the battlefield? Probably not yet. But they've clearly shattered the illusion of invincibility. Every nation with tanks is now reconsidering how vulnerable their billion-dollar arsenals really are. If a $500 drone can change the fate of an entire armored division, what happens when thousands are deployed in swarms? 
What if AI guides them? What if 3D printing makes them faster, cheaper, deadlier? We're standing at the edge of a new era. The age where asymmetry wins. Where a clever engineer with a laptop and a box of parts can strike harder than a warplane. So next time you hear that familiar buzzing sound in the sky, remember, it might just be the future of warfare, and it only cost a few hundred bucks. Like this video if you're shocked by how the battlefield is evolving. Subscribe for more breakdowns of modern warfare, drone tactics, and military innovation. And let us know in the comments. Is this the death of the tank? Or will the arms race evolve again?